Nervous Tissue. This video is made for the Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College. We have four main tissue types in the body. We have epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscle tissues, and nervous tissues. We've talked about the first three already. Well, let's talk about the last group now, nervous tissues. Where do we find nervous tissue? Well, in the brain and the spinal cord. And uh, there are certain structures you have to be able to identify in the neuron, which is the nerve cell. Okay. These neurons have a very distinct look. They are very different than what you're used to. Okay. As you can see, here is the cell body, the main portion of the neuron, if you will. This dark dot, okay, some of you may be tempted to call that the nucleus, but it's not. It's the nucleolus. Okay, please be careful of spelling because spelling does count on the practicum. That dark dot is the nucleolus. And the nucleolus is found inside the nucleus. So you're saying, well, where is the nucleus? Well, if you look around the dark dot, there is a circle, a little bit of a clearing, if you will, around the circle. That whole region where there's the clearing, that would be the nucleus of the neuron. Anything outside of the nucleus, like up here, this would be the cytoplasm of the neuron. Remember, a neuron is the nerve cell. And then, of course, there are these projections coming out from the cytoplasm. Those projections are called processes. Okay, plural will be processes. Singular would be just one process. Now, in this picture, because it got cut off, it's very hard to tell which projection is the longest. But should you see a slide in which you can see perfectly the entire cell without anything being cut off, then you should see one process as being the longest, and that longest process would be called the axon. All the other processes will be much shorter, and those other processes will be called dendrite. Please refer to your note on page 5 for the spelling. In addition, I want you to see that uh, this neuron is not the only cell in nervous tissue. If you look around, there's these little dots. Okay, those little dots belong to cells called glial cells or neuroglial cells. Same thing. We sometimes we drop the word neuro because it's already implied that it's in the nervous tissue. Uh, but uh, glial cells or neuroglial cells are the same thing. And notice the size difference. The, these neurons, the neurons is a lot bigger than the little glial cells. Okay, just look at the nucleus. Here's the nucleus this big for the neuron, and that little dot is the nucleus for the neuroglial cells. Here's the drawing of the same picture. Okay, and they're trying to show you um, the, uh, the nucleolus, nucleolus, and here uh, outlining would be the nucleus. And then this would be the projection. I really don't like how they named this axon and that dendrite, especially when the, thing, when the picture got cut off like that. So it's very hard to see which one is the longest. And only when you can see the longest process can you call that the axon. Here's a picture of a real neuron. And notice the odd shape that it is. And in this picture, you can see that this perhaps will be the longest process. So yes, this is appropriately called axon, whereas all the other processes tend to be shorter and that would then be dendrite. Here we see uh, the cell nucleus as that outer, this outer circle here, and then that dark dot inside, that would be the nucleolus. Everything here would be the cytoplasm of the neuron. The dots around here will be the glial cell's nucleus. Another view of nervous tissue. Notice the odd shape of these cells. Okay, Those would be neurons. And the dark dots, the little dots, that would be cells uh, that are called neuroglial cells or glial cells. Here's another look at nervous tissue. We have several neurons. Okay, now these neurons have great nucleolus. 
Okay, these are, this is a nucleolus, another nucleolus. The nucleus is bigger, and it, it's about that big. Okay, I'm outlining the nucleus. And of course, everything else would be the cytoplasm. Sometimes you do see some processes coming out of the cell body. And uh, it's hard to say which one's the axon, which one is the dendrite. Just be on the safe side, you can call them processes. Lots of dots. This would be nucleus of glial cells. Here's another look. Here we see several neurons. Okay, so you hard to see the nucleus, but you can see the nucleus of the glial cells. And you can definitely see the processes of this neuron. Here's a drawing. They're showing you the neurons and they're showing you the glial cell nuclei. Notice some of the uh, processes from these neurons. They're trying to show you one would be more prominent, longer, that would be the axon. Everything else would be shorter, would be the dendrites. This is a great picture of a neuron. And here is a beautiful view of the nucleolus. Okay, that dot, that darker dot there would be the nucleolus inside the nucleus. Here you can see the nucleus pretty clearly. That ring around the dark dot, that would be the border of the nucleus. Everything out here would be the cytoplasm. And all of these would be processes because we don't see where they end. It's very hard to say which one is the axon, which one would be dendrites. So just call all these processes. And of course we see lots of glial cells because these would be their nuclei. Another look at a neuron. And once again, this is a great picture of here is the nucleus and the dark dot inside the nucleus would be the nucleolus. Many processes, okay, and because it got cut off, it's hard to say which one is the axon, which one is the dendrite. Uh, but yet, uh, also number four, I want you to see they're pointing to the dots of the neuroglio cells, uh, nucleus. Another look at a neuron with neuroglio cells around it. Okay. Notice these are processes that got cut off. And you can see the nucleus pretty clearly in the middle there. More neurons, there are three to be specific. Great nucleolus, okay. And there's a little bit of a halo effect around the nucleus, that's probably the nucleus. Great processes, okay, coming out of this neuron. Okay, beautiful processes. Hard to say which one's the longest, so we'll just call them all processes. Also, there's a scattering of neuroglial cells because I can see their nuclei. Another view of neurons, believe it or not, these are neurons, they look kind of like silhouettes, uh, but you can see this kind of odd looking with all of these lines. This, for this neurons here, this is probably the axon because it's the longest, whereas everything else is probably dendrites. Another look at neurons, okay, kind of odd looking, but here it is, with all these long processes. More neurons, okay, so here, notice great nucleolus with that hollow uh, halo effect, that would be the nucleus. And you can see the processes for these neurons pretty clearly, as well as the dots for the neuroglial cells, the nuclei of neuroglial cells. And that's it.